I was born in Simla, but uh, otherwise li have lived in Delhi all my life. I did study in Baroda, and I lived outside. I lived in uh, London for four years, but I wanted very much to come back uh, and make my art here. It was very unusual for an Asian, myself, an Indian person in the UK to be an artist. Very unusual. All my family and friends, they're doctors, lawyers, barristers, dentists, solicitors, accountants. Because in Asian families, that's what your children did. You were professionals. <laughs> My dad is an artist, that's his main profession. He still runs the studio in Punjab. It's like very traditional way of doing it. So even my brother joined him back. So they run now together the graphic design studio and he do paintings, sculptures in different way. In 1997, I went for my applications in Chandigarh Qualifat and uh, where uh, I, I bumped into him. We have like uh, one very similar aesthetics. Not only the aesthetics, we have the understanding of a work. It's like I bounce the ball to him and he bounces back me the ball. Art is really something that you have to practice to look at. It's not, I don't expect anyone to walk straight in and never see any art before and understand my work. It's, it's not possible, I think. It's like music, it's like, uh, it's like if you play the cello, when you hear an orchestra, you'll hear the cello. I mean, I don't hear the cello. I, ha I don't hear those sounds that other people hear when they listen to a philharmonic art orchestra because I'm not trained to hear those individual sounds. But, but just because I don't understand that the flute is doing something and the cello is doing something, it doesn't mean that I don't understand the music. It's the same as art. Just because if you don't understand the signs, it doesn't mean you cannot enjoy looking at the work. <laughs> <laughs>